Hey guys, I'm Dane and today I wanted to do a review of the RPK-12 LMG. I chose the RPK-12 because it was my all-time favorite back in the day, way before I even started using the M249. So like a year and a half ago? I've been playing with this LMG ever since I started playing with the RPK and the L86A1 because to me they both lacked in the same department, the magazine size. The L86A1 was extremely precise at range and had a decent reload speed compared to the belt-fed magazines of the other LMGs, but it still lacked the magazine size. The RPK had 40 bullets and more damage than most LMGs, but it still felt a bit off to me, so I decided to go with the RPK-12 because it seemed like it had the best of both worlds, a fast reload and a big magazine. Going over the stats from Simthic for the RPK-12, we see a rather low RPM at 600, with a muscle velocity at 600 as well, exact same numbers as with the regular RPK. The damage model is the standard 24.5 up close, dropping to 18 damage at 65 meters. The magazine holds 60 bullets and 61 bullets with one round in the chamber. The reload speed is not bad for this type of weapon. The short reload clocks in at 2.4 seconds and the long reload is 3.3 seconds. So you'll benefit from the short reload by almost a second as you would by more or less all of the weapons. And I've never really had any problems hitting the short reload even facing multiple enemies. The recoil pattern is also not bad at all. A vertical pull of 0.27, a left pull of 0.14 and a right pull of 0.08. The first shot multiplier is rather low at 1.35 and the RPK-12 rocks a great recoil recovery number of 18 compared to the RPK's 15 recoil recovery number. The accuracy in ADS and hipfire is the same as the U100 and the RPK at 0.2 ADS and 1.5 hipfire accuracy. The bullet spread increase on the RPK-12 is the second lowest at 0.078, only bested by the U100 with a 0.077. The spread recovery clocks in at 17.3 as the second best, again only bested by the U100 with a 17.9 spread recovery. From these stats, you can easily tell that this is a medium and long range beast. As you all know, I love long range weapons, sorry for my short gist there, but yeah. And the RPK-12 just hits my sweet spot again as it did way back at the start of Battlefield 4. And not only that, the bigger magazine than the U100, the RPK and L86A1 just makes the RPK-12 even better. It rocks long range combat, but in panic situations up close, the accuracy and the size of the magazine allows for some awesome panic fire. Add that with some movement and you'll be able to survive in a pinch against other players with higher rate of fire weapons. If, of course, you're accurate with your shots. The RPK is better at close and long range than the RPK-12 due to the higher damage output. But I found that with the RPK-12, I was able to hold my own for longer than you would normally because of the bigger magazine. I was able to hold a point on my own against multiple enemies or even assault points with multiple enemies without lacking in confidence as I knew I had a laser beam of a rifle with the magazine size to have my back. The way I ended up running this weapon was with a heavy barrel to make this weapon more of a laser beam at range without it hurting my stability way too much and an ergo grip to improve my on the move accuracy along with my hip fire accuracy if I was caught off guard. Of course you should always go for ADS but sometimes you forget because of panic situations. That's just life. As for optics, I went with my trusty HD33 red dot sight, as it's the one that I like the most. That's plain to see in most of my videos. Your playstyle might be different than mine, and you might choose different attachments than I did, but this setup was the one that I felt most comfortable with, and I did well with it. For long range, you benefit from burst and tap firing. The spread recovery is awesome, so it benefits greatly from bursts and tap fire. While it's also got an extremely low spread increase, all of these makes this LMG a laser or a sniper if you would. Yeah, you catch my drift, this weapon rocks long range and precision shooting. 
And because of the great spread recovery and the low spread increase of this weapon, you can basically customize it how you want to without all of the attachments hurting this weapon way too much. So this is basically a weapon that you're able to customize however you want so it benefits your playstyle without it hurting its space aspects in any way. When it comes to maps, I recommend this weapon for open maps and big maps. Flood Zone, Metro and Pearl Market aren't maps that I'd use this weapon in. Operation Locker is okay, especially if you go snow every time as the long range accuracy and capability of the RPK-12 helps you greatly here. In my RPK-12 gunfun video, I had multiple occasions where I single-handedly assaulted points or defended them from multiple enemies before dying or before my teammates made it to the point to help me capture them. The thing I love the most about the RPK-12 is the fact that it's a laser beam and I was able to engage enemies at long range with confidence, dueling snipers and winning or even stopping pushes before they made their way up to me, the point or basically assaulting a point from a great distance. In fact, I had so much fun dealing with people at long range and the fact that I could stop an entire squad from moving up just because of the accuracy of this weapon at range was just awesome. That just felt awesome to me. I had so much fun here and I just enjoyed every second with this weapon. It's just awesome. It's, it's like the match made in heaven for me. In my continuous search for my favorite weapon in each weapon section and class, I can say with confidence that when it comes to LMGs, the RPK-12 has stolen my heart again. And I tried to find one or two weapons in each category for different situations, one for close and medium range and one for medium and long range. The second option is also my somewhat go-to kit, not only because I love long range, but because the weapons I choose for that category is also versatile for multiple situations and can do well in a pinch if needed in other situations. So I've got a favorite weapon in each class and in each weapon class as well with a second choice for closer combat. And that is the case with all my classes and weapon classes. Some of you out there only use one weapon all of the time and to be fair 90% of the time I used my favorite weapons as well all of the time. In this case the RPK-12. Others might use three different weapons given the map, part of the map and what objective they're going for. But in my case I try to slim it down to two weapons in any given class in any given weapon section. Overall, I'm in love with the RPK-12 and it's basically my go-to weapon for the support class now as it suits my playstyle perfectly and it has all of the right things going for it. It could have a high RPM, maybe 650 or 700, but I don't think that would be all too balanced overall as it would just wreck people with ease and it would, it would become overused. But I gotta say, I am really enjoying the RPK-12 and I recommend you guys to try it out, especially if you like playing at medium range or long range. It's awesome. Multiple times have I been playing against snipers and winning just because of the accuracy of this weapon. And I've had tons of fun. But yeah, I mean, you can see all of that in my gun fun video of the RPK-12 that I linked early on in this video. But yeah. That's it for this time guys, let me know what you think of the RPK-12, what setup do you use for it and what's your favorite weapon for the different classes and the different weapon sections. Let me know in the comments below and I'll see you guys in the next one.